everybody. Welcome. To think I. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's been a minute. Sorry guys, I haven't been posting in a minute, but I am back. Things just got a little crazy. I keep saying that. Also, I have to be a bit quiet because... Look at this handsome little man. You're so sleepy. Mm. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the video. As Bonnie pondered about his fr new friend in the walls, Goldie breathed a sigh of relief. His cubs were safe from purple and whatever that thing that had taken purple away was. Purple, however, was not in the safest place. What the? He opened his eyes, but he had no idea where he was. All he could see was flames, green and black flames filling his whole world. His, sen his senses were heightened. Every flash was a little too close. Every flame just seemed to burn just a little extra. The inky ceiling seemed to be sinking down. Where? Where am I? Purple's voice felt hoarse. His throat ached. Purple spun around. He blinked and rubbed his eyes. Even they began to burn. Everything was tinted in this pristine green. Mary Bell's green, and it made Purple sick. Purple glared out his new prison. His nostrils burned with the scent of vinegar and lemons. This was only broken by this. Mama! Purple whipped around. As he did, shards of glass flew from his eyes, freeing him from her control. Purple knew that voice. Isaac, he called. Purple pushed through his prison. The, the, as soon as he touched the flames, they were freezing. None of that mattered. Isaac needed help. Mama! Isaac cheered. But this time, he sounded different, eager. Suddenly, Isaac's voice wasn't alone. Mom? Michael, the oldest, he must be of Isaac. Purple pushed himself to move faster. Mom? Daisy, the only girl. The kids were all together. Kids, Purple called. The closer Purple came to his children, the more the world around him changed. His hair grew back to that high ponytail. The color, the purple itself was draining, leaving behind his original brown skin. His clothes changed when he had the last time he had had his humanity. Even his purple ghostly glow slipped away as he ran. The halls shifted to a sky blue. Hi everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you're excited to do some more exploring with Purple Guy slash William Afton's backstory because I have explored a little bit of his backstory in the Ask account and on the comic, but I want to dive in a little more, especially in this AU and I want to explore it more as we go forward. Spoiler alert! purple guy isn't the only bad guy. He's not the big bad. He is one of the big bads, but it's not just him. So guys, I hope you're excited to dive into this little exploration of purple's mind. Also, I know I said I wasn't going to redraw any more of the comics. I changed my mind. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed our, oh my goodness, my phone is shaking so much. I'm so sorry. Hope you guys enjoyed our lovely show and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>